the frame up go? Didn't the border take the bait? Oh, you knew where I was going, huh? So long. Very little goes on around here that I don't know, Camber. You'll change your tune when you hear what Lucky's done. Maybe. Well, how's this? Corrigan heard me tell the Burrow where she could find Hakahima. And Hakahima isn't there. So Corrigan is racing the Burrow for the privilege of walking in a Lucky's trap at the old colony mine. Not bad. Two for one. Means. Either X9 or all Fong is ahead of us. That being the case, we'll wait at the entrance. But X9 got confused and thinks the chap went deeper into the mine. Yeah, but I don't know what X9's gonna get. You bet. We were walking into some kind of trap. Undoubtedly, but we had better investigate. Hakihima may have been in there. Countryman, Hakihima. Didn't he come out? I wouldn't ask the question if he had. He must have got mixed up. We thought he came out. I guess he and X9 both got it. Ah, so. With X9 and me dead, and Hakihima his prisoner, Mr. Camber would certainly have regained full control of his island. But now we'll make an example of him. No. We'll let Mr. Lucky Camber believe for a while that his plan worked. Takahari. Yes. You and Bach watch the House of Shadows. I'll be on the Lorelei. that this unsuccessful explosive makes a perfect substitute for aviation gasoline when mixed with distilled water. I do not believe there is much danger of that, but I do agree that a copy of the formula must be obtained from the professor's files in Landfield University as quickly as possible. The men are ready. Good. are willing to have a doctor operate on your face to make you look as much like the man in the motion picture as possible? Sure, for the money you're paying us. Dr. Harold is waiting for them. This way. <clears throat> I wonder which one will turn out to look the most like Raymond. What does it matter? Except that he will be the double that we use. Naturally. And now, what about Chandler? I'm expecting him to give me the opportunity, any moment now, to teach him his lesson. Good. Now looking the town over, Camber? Yeah, I've been out the mine. Somebody finished off Lou and Charlie. Hmm. Might have been Nobora's man, or off farm. What about Nobora, Hakahima, and X-9? Not a sign of them, here or out there. I guess they walked into the trap. Too bad about Hakahima. He could have told you about 722. There's another way to find out. Raid the Lorelei. There's no doubt that that liner has violated the protection she got from your neutrality. So I'm taking her over. 
along with the Nazis and the Japs on border. Hmm. Somebody ought to be willing to talk. Convenient laws and enormous profits. Those are the things we're fighting for, aren't they? The only things. No, Camber, you're not looking at a ghost. <laughs> that explosion you had set in the mine didn't get there. You have no proof I was responsible for that? No. No. I'm willing to make a deal with you anyhow. What kind of a deal? You want that Jack Hawking in with, don't you? Well, right now, I don't know whether I do or not. <laughs> don't kid me. Are you sure you're not kidding me? Uh... For $50,000, I'll tell you where he is. Save your breath, Gamber. I know where he is. He's under tons of rock and dirt at the old colony mine. <laughs> well, if you know that, then you killed him. I'm very glad to hear you say that, Mr. Camber. Takahari reported your return, but he did not tell me about X-9. This is much better than I anticipated. <laughs> I'm not taking sides. If you want Corrigan, you'll have to get him yourself. I think not. You see, I heard you accuse him of killing Hakuhima. And it was very fortunate that I came in time to hear it. Otherwise, I should be inclined to believe you responsible. Not only for the death of my countrymen, but also for attempting to kill me. Of course, you would not want me to have that mistaken idea. So to prove your sincerity, you will follow my... my suggestion hereafter. So, Labura didn't waste any time taking advantage of the situation, and I didn't waste any time beating it. With Camber accusing you of murder in her presence, she can now compel him to arrest you. But I won't be alone. You will be an accessory after the fact. Uh, somehow I feel honored. What are we going to do now? Well, you know the island better than I do. Where can we lie low? Let me be of the help, please, you will play. about those mysterious notes and about a lot of other things too when the mystery she is explained she's always like this simple oh. <laughs> voila and over here Downstairs in the little room behind the wine cellar is the place Mama and Papa fix up for hiding their friends. You're a clever agent, Baba Bear. I never even suspected you for a minute. Mama and me? We are the three French. We must do what we can. And because the organization is not yet so perfect, it's best to work alone until La Belle France is free again. S'il vous plaît. regained consciousness when I left the Lorelei, Dr. Harold. I did not think it would take so long. There's nothing to worry about. It'll be all right in the morning. When shall I send my man for Miley? I'll telephone you. 
This operation should be as simple as the others. All three men were chosen for the resemblance they bear to the man they are to double. Your selection was excellent, but I can't state the exact time I'll be finished. I realize that. You don't mind letting yourself out, do you? Not at all. Wait. These three reps, that is lean, telling me liberté, fraternité, égalité. Hello, Lynn. Sit yeah. down. Go ahead, Lynn. I heard what happened after you and the Boer left the house of shadows, Phil. And I had an idea Papa Pierre would help you. Hmm, we'd have been in a tough spot if we hadn't. Phil counts me in, too, you see. You are in. Almost as deep. What'd I tell you? I must say, Papa Pierre, you know the right people to trust. Thank you. Just the compliment, that is all. Why are you not on the submarine playing the quizzling over the broadcast, eh? Nabora is doing it for me. Oh, it will be a pleasure, Nespa, listening to her on the radio. Radio? You know that I talk to Australia through code in the broadcast I make from the submarine for the Japanese. Hmm? But you didn't know till now that Australia answers me in a musical program, which Papa Pierre always listens to. What do you know? It is a pleasant surprise seeing you, Nabura. We expected Miss Moore. She will not broadcast tonight. I have a confidential report for Tokyo. Huh. For military intelligence at once. Aye, aye, sir. The submarine. She is on the air. Japanese. You understand much better than Selene. They're calling Tokyo. Tokyo's answer. Nabura is reporting Hakuhima's death. But Hakuhima's death will not delay our plans concerning the men who are to impersonate the man who is the key to 722. I have the surgeon, a fugitive wanted in America for practicing without a license. And this plastic surgeon has already operated on two of the men. She is now reporting to Tokyo that he's working on the third at this very minute. Tokyo is congratulating her. They're signing off. What do you make of that? Men, motion pictures, plastic surgery. It all adds up to one thing as a key to 722, a double. Yes, but a double for whom? That's what we've still got to find out. But at last, we've got a direct lead. How many so-called doctors with criminal records are on this island, do you know? There are five so-called doctors in this island. I've seen two, you've seen one. Then one of the two Ah Fong is investigating must be the man we want. Right. He said he was going to Dr. Harold's lab. Why don't we go there and meet him? Why not? Later. I'm busy. I thought you were somebody else. My patient. Your patient is what I'm interested in. A facial operation, was it not? Whom did you make that man look like? What's the meaning of this? I will ask the questions, doctor, and if you're wise, you will answer them. Well? I don't know. You had a model? Yes, a picture which I destroyed when I finished according to orders. Yes, it's there. Where are the other two men you operated on? Taken away. And this man is also going to be removed? Yes, I thought you'd been sent for. That's why I opened the door. You have given me an idea, Doctor. I see some cards and a pencil on your desk. You will write a message. Right, please. I have been called away on an urgent case. Sign your initials. Now, we will remove the patient into the adjoining room, after which you will bandage my head exactly like his. Dr. Harold evidently does not trust us. He may be smarter than we thought.
forgot about. He was not smart. Merely fortunate, temporarily. We'll take care of him later. Let's get Miley out of here. Doctor, we ordered. It's no anesthetic. No wonder. See who that is. It isn't our farm. But whoever it is, he's dead. What happened to the young Chinese that came in here? I hadn't any time to waste, Doctor, so talk and talk fast. I'm not bluffing. He... he insisted upon taking the place of my patient. And? Well, he doesn't know it, but he's going to be taken out to sea in a speedboat and thrown overboard. Sorry, but I want to be sure you'll be here when I come back to talk to you. Get some men you can trust and send them to the speedboat landing. I'll take off on his car. 